Whether complimenting a meal, relaxing, or entertaining, cocktails and spirits can spark your dining and social experiences. Join celebrity tastemakers Beyond the Bar as we mix this week's liquid recipe for The Sip. I'm Caitlin Monty Beyond the Bar at Featherweight in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, with David Cohn, who's going to serve us the finer things in life. But not all that bubbles is champagne, right, David? That's right. Champagne is a wine, first and foremost. Runart Blanc de Blanc is going to be 100% Chardonnay champagne. Bright, citrusy, think more of green apple, lemon, lime, as opposed to Veuve Clicquot, which is going to be a little bit rounder, fuller bodied, more of the red fruits, so strawberry, raspberry, plum. Runart Blanc de Blanc literally means white from white. It's 100% Chardonnay, because Chardonnay is a white grape. The way that champagne is made, called the method traditionnelle, the champagne method, requires you by law to age it in the caves, or crayers as they're known, in the region of champagne for a minimum of 15 months. That gives that extra depth of flavor, that toasty, biscuity, brioche notes that we love about champagne. What are some of the more interesting food pairings you've seen with this champagne? The chef de cave, the head winemaker for Ruinart, his favorite pairing is Ruinart Blanc de Blanc and French fries. That kind of highbrow, lowbrow pairing that people wouldn't naturally think of. This glass is not by mistake. People think of a champagne flute, but you recommend drinking it out of a wine glass. Absolutely, I do. Firstly, enjoy your champagne however you like. About 90% of your taste comes from your smell. Mm. And if you have a smaller nosed flute, you can't really get in to appreciate all of those nuances. And we really want to focus on that. And you said this is on the brighter side, so let's try the other side of things. Absolutely. In order to pour a great glass of champagne, one thing that I recommend is actually picking up the glass itself and angling it. As you pour it, you kind of angle it back, just like you would, say, a really nice beer. Start with the angle, pour it slow. Perfect. The star of the show here is going to be Pinot Noir. And what that does is adds that richer, rounder flavor. And it's very stylistically different from the rune art that we tried. It's definitely got a, a more whole taste to it. What am I pairing this with? Something like a richer meat, a filet mignon, a lamb chop, pork chop would be all excellent pairings with this, and things that people might not normally think of. But because of that richness and roundness, it'll stand up with a stronger food and a leaner meat. And so champagne, not just for special occasions. That's right. It's really for the mature palate wine drinker. Think of it as the celebration is the champagne itself. And for more on enjoying the beauty of champagne, visit CelebrityTasteMakers.com, where you'll find events, updates, and giveaways that take you beyond the bar. Until next time, I'm Caitlin Monty. Cheers. <laughs>